guys, Joe Deadeye and Dale Comstock here. A little levity uh, and some funny stuff. Uh, funny, serious, but funny. So we're just going to talk about a couple of things that you've seen on TV, this complete bullshit. Uh, and I mean complete bullshit and stuff that's actually real. Um, I'm going to talk about three things and then Dale's going to talk about a couple. One, uh, and this isn't just on TV. This has more to do with like gun handling, things you've seen on TV and, and, and kind of like uh, myths and urban legends and all that bullshit, right? So here's one I can't stand. And whoever came up with this, you should be smacked in the face. Here, I can guarantee you, if I'm in a gunfight and I go to reholster, if I'm putting my gun away, the threat is eliminated. And people go, you never look your gun back in your holster because you're taking your eyes off the threat. Well, guess what, fool? I ain't putting my gun away if the threat's still out there. If it's still there, my gun's in my hand. If I'm back and behind cover and the police showed up and the area's secure, I'm going to put my gun away, but I'm going to look my pistol back into the holster. If not, you'll see a lot of this. <laughs> and guess what? That's how you can shoot yourself in the foot. Look your pistol back into the holster. Okay, that's one. Uh, and for those of you that are listening that don't agree with me, you know what? You're wrong. Uh, that's one. Two, you, you see this on a lot of movies, uh, and it's, it's, it's such a crock of shit, it's not even funny. Um, counting rounds in combat. Uh, you know what? If you can count the rounds that you have fired in combat, guess what? You ain't been in combat. Yeah, you're not in <laughs> combat. <laughs> There's no way I can go to Dale and say, Dale, hey, Joe, how many rounds did you fire? Dale, I, filed, I fired 16 rounds. How many did you fire? Dude, you're not going to know. You're going to know you're either low, like, hey, man, I'm almost out, but you're not going to be able to tell how many fucking rounds you've shot. There ain't no way. Here's the only way. If you got one of those magazines that you can actually see that Magpul makes, that you can actually see how many rounds you have left, that's the only way. But for someone to say, I can count my rounds, uh, you're full of shit as a Christmas goose. But there, All right. There's actually, so what do I do? I don't count rounds either. It's like impossible to count rounds, right? Um, but if you shoot your weapon enough times, you'll actually be able to tell about how many rounds you weight. shot. Yeah, yeah, and the, the weight too. And the weight, and you'll actually have a pretty good idea. You know, I'm about three quarters out. You know, I'm shot about 90%. You'll know that just from experience if you shoot enough. Um, that's really the only way to know. Yeah. is you know that i mean you that takes a lot though to actually pick up a mm -hmm. pistol and go you know what there's just a few rounds in this thing or it's empty you know mm -hmm. is by the weight but that that's a whole nother level of skill but for the average person you're not going to know that so forget about that counting rounds in combat that's full shit now on a good note uh if you've ever seen the movie saving private ryan okay with tom hanks it's one of my favorite war movies and the reason i like it is that whoever did that first scene where they're coming out of the beach landing crafts and they're hitting hitting Normandy, uh, it shows what it feels like to be in an intense adrenaline dump. Brilliantly shot, brilliant auditory auditory exclusion, everything slowing down. You know, it, everything that that whoever that producer was that did that hit it dead on. I've experienced that myself uh, at different levels, and so. But if you want to wonder, like, I really wonder, it's like. That, my friends, is about as close as it's going to get. Speaking of movies, um, so one of my favorite actors out there, besides Clint Eastwood, it was actually my favorite. Uh, second favorite answer, uh, actor is Denzel Washington. And I particularly liked him in the movie Man on Fire. <clears throat> now, it was a really cool movie, but there's a lot of stuff in it. I'm like, no way. And I've seen it not, not only in that movie, but other movies. First of all, the scene where he shoots the RPG out the window, right? But oh, yeah. he goes to the apartment, <laughs> old, old man, old yeah, woman, yeah. and her grandma and grandpa. He's like, excuse me, hold on, I need to borrow your window. And he's got an RPG and he fires an RPG, right? That's really cool for Hollywood. The, the reality is the backplash, the, the um, uh, backblast from that RPG would have probably scrambled their eggs over there. I mean, it would have done them in, right? The old people, it, the overpressure, you can't shoot an RPG like that in a room, um, especially with people behind you. So I thought that was kind of interesting, but I see that all the time. Uh, the other one I always like is, uh, you know, in the movies, you see, you know, someone throwing a hand grenade and a big ball of fire, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, they throw it in the car and the car blows up and goes in the air, you know? Uh, and, and all that's a bunch of bunk, right? The only time you get flame and fire is if you have some type of, some type of a fuel mixture involved, right? Um, otherwise, explosives don't, there's no, you really don't even see the fire. And when you do, it's so fast, you don't actually see it. Um, all you see is the puff of either gray or black smoke. So um, there's a lot of Hollywood stuff out there, you know, and, and uh, 
in some ways it's good because I want people to kind of, you know, I want the bad guys to think that it's going to do this when actually we know it's not going to do that. Right. Um, but, um, yeah, there's a lot of myth out there, myths out there. And, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, just a lot of, uh, you know, Hollywood crap. Uh, the other one I like too, is this is when a guy pulls a gun out, you know, and they're shooting sideways. I love that when I see them do that, it's like, yeah, keep, keep, uh, keep encouraging that. Keep teaching guys to do that because, that's actually a terror. Some guys can do it. You know, we could do it if we know it with it, um, with time and training, we could do it and still hit our mark. But the problem with that is if you understand fire, you know, the fundamentals of marksmanship, um, clear, clear is <clears throat> if I, if I hold my weapon like this, I'm, you know, like you see all the gangsters do it. This is what happens when I pull the trigger. Right. So I'm probably going to miss, right. Or I'm going to heal the gun. and It's going to go that way. Um, so the gun's designed to be held up straight up and down, and you, and you have a higher probability of getting a strike on right. the body like this than like this, right? Um, but I see this all the time, like, yeah, this, you know, that's that's amateur hour, you know? So, I was, so I'm kind of happy to see that. I want all the gangsters to, to adopt that, keep doing that, because if I have to get in a firefight with them, you know, it gives me the advantage. So. <laughs> One other thing I'd like to say to button this up, and this is more on the morbid side, but this is the realities of it, and you better be prepared. Um, God forbid you have to witness this. Uh, it's somebody mortally shot that's dying from a gunshot wound. Um, sadly, I've seen it a few times. I know Dale has. Um, it's it's horrifically terrible. Um, I, I, I pray to God nobody that's watching this ever has to see it. But it's not like you see on TV where somebody's in there going, Dale, tell my wife and my kids. <laughs> Guys, that's not the way it goes down. It is... Um, not something you want to witness. And it's the person is not having a conversation with you calmly. Um, they're in either in extreme pain or they are in the, in the process of cashing out. And, um, I've actually seen one Afghani guy it was the most bizarre thing. He'd been shot mortally. It was obvious he, he was not going to survive and he was laying on the ground, but he had his arms out. Uh, he was laying out and he was like this, like he was reaching for someone. And, and it's very vivid on my mind. It's like something I'll never forget. And he ended up he ended up passing away. But um, when you see this shit on TV, guys, it's 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 TV, okay? Mortal combat is mortal, and it's disgusting. Yeah. And war is is horrific. And we talk about this stuff because we've experienced it. But hopefully, you'll never have to. But if you do, you need to be prepared mentally that what you're going to see is going to be something that's going to be ingrained in your brain for the rest of your life. And, um, you know, I pray to God you don't have to, but Dale and I teach this stuff that if you ever do get caught in a really bad situation that you can survive it, not be that person that's laying on the ground with their hands up. Yeah. You know, in these video games, man, you know, Oh, oh my God, you know, and I've had, I've actually had people tell me that they thought they could be a badass soldier just based off the video games. And, they buy into this oh, crap and it's man. like you have no idea how far off these video games really are from reality um and so it gives you you know a lot of these guys have this i actually think what it does is desensitizes people to that's the exactly idea, what it does to the idea of killing it does until the first time you've done it and you right. realize how awful it is right. um you know so the, you know sadly you know these I, these video games i'm sure yeah they're entertaining but um just remember it's just a game and it's not even close to reality um, reality is just, it's not somewhere you want to be when, yeah. when it comes to this kind of yeah. stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And we've got some more videos coming up here shortly. And don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.